Hey y'all. Hold on. Okay, so Grand Rising, Divine Chakras, welcome back. So real quick, I just wanted to touch on a few things. Um, and I know that it's going to be triggering. So anyways, <laughs> so I wanted to just talk briefly about, um, and I really can't get into everything right now. I just don't have the time. Um, I have clients this morning, so I'm on my way, on my way to the shop. But, um, you know, I've been, I'm, I know that I'm very provocative in a lot of things that I say and a lot of things that, um, you know, a lot of things that I say, a lot of things that I do in my life, I've always been very provocative. Um, you know, people will say, you know, did she, did she just say that, you know, and I actually like the shock value of being able to say something that no one else will say because people either don't think like that or they're afraid to say it right so I'm gonna say it okay um you know all those for all of y'all that are posting about the burnings and the killings first of all I told y'all this shit was gonna happen it happens it's been happening for the last few fucking years but yet every year we seem to be triggered and triggered and triggered by the fact that, you know, the white man, the police is killing our black people. But what we have to do is take accountability and responsibility for who we are. Okay. This system, the system that we are in right now was not built for us. And we know that it was not built for black people. Right. The system only protects those who are considered to have a nationality and this is why I tell y'all every motherfucking day to claim your nationality and to get your affidavits to create yourself a business and start to divorce the system if you really want to make a change and you really want to make an impact in this society Stop fucking burning shit. Y'all are being violent just like the white people. If you want to be racially, uh, uh, if you want to be racially target targeting right now, white people are violent people. We know this. So why are we going to fight violence with violence? That shit does not fucking work. If y'all want to hit these motherfuckers where it hurts, stop paying your fucking taxes. Stop paying taxes. But you're too fucking scared to do that shit. Because you've been brainwashed. Th them same people that are out there burning, I guarantee you, they're going to go to their little jobs this morning with their little fucking white bosses while little Brad tells them what the fuck to do. And they're going to continue to get tax on tax on tax on your labor. Which is the most expensive um expense you can have as a business is labor but some of y'all are so dumb deaf blind and sheep that all y'all see is red when they start shooting your people who gives a fuck if black people are dying at the hands of white people if you're not going to do anything about divorcing the system it doesn't fucking matter let them kill them all if that's the fucking case, because my black people want to continue to burn shit down. That is not the answer. And y'all talking about let it burn. You stupid too. You dumb, deaf, blind as sheep too. This is a spiritual fucking warfare. This shit ain't got nothing to do with what's on this physical mundane world. They are fucking with y'all head. Hits the, the Rona, the Corona, your mind, your head. This is the last step before the galactic takeoff. But yet y'all are, y'all are still physically bound. You are still physically bound to this earth. So you're doing little earthling things like fighting and protesting and walking in silence and wanting to stop, um, buying shit for a day. Ooh, what the fuck is that going to do? Cause all you're going to do is buy shit the next fucking day, probably double that amount 
in order to boost up the economy again. That shit ain't gonna do nothing. Blackout day is on July the 7th. Who gives a fuck about some goddamn blackout day on July 7th? Nobody give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> and the government don't either. The government don't give a fuck that you ain't spending no money for one fucking day. When they know that they got your ass in a fucking, um, they got your ass, a so you got a social security card that they own you. You have a birth certificate, they own you. They're making six figures plus off of your birth. But you worried about buying, about <laughs> not buying for a day? Don't nobody give a fuck about that dumbass shit. Man, y'all are bugging, dog. Y'all are bugging. Y'all are doing this shit for all the fucking wrong reasons. <laughs> This shit is ridiculous. Just like that year when Baltimore, all them, all them little ratchets burned down half of Baltimore. That's why I say, y'all, we have got to get to the hood. Because if the hood was empowered the way we are spiritually empowered, they will be able to make a better decision and target what needs to be targeted. If us as black people burn our social security cards, burn our birth certificates, burn the money, stop paying taxes, stop working for these motherfuckers. Then you will now create change because now then the system falls when you fall. When you fall back out of the system and divorce that bitch, that is when the system will fall. But burning shit and looting and, and, and protesting and memes? That shit ain't gonna do nothing. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. And then y'all over here posting about old Trump said that he's gonna stop um, the misuse of uh, social media and stuff. But y'all fail to look at the decoding. Y'all get so fucking triggered and emotional about the dumbass shit. You get triggered and you're emotional uh, over dumbass shit. That don't mean nothing. Claim your nationality. Get your um, affidavits. So that when they do put these mandatory vaccines in place, because they will, oh, it's coming. <laughs> get you a job. Take that unemployment money and create a job and invest in yourself. Stop fucking, stop fucking saying, oh, I need to save my money. Fuck that shit. If you don't go on and invest in yourself and stop playing and finally take a chance on yourself and who the fuck you are, god damn it. Shit. I gotta go pick this girl up and I done took the wrong goddamn way. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. When are, when are we gonna when are we gonna actually make a difference <laughs> when are we gonna stop destroying shit and actually make a difference when are we gonna actually make a difference when are we gonna actually do something you know what I'm saying y'all dumb deaf blind to sheep that's facts I don't care what how you feel about it cause it's the truth it is the fucking truth stop burning shit and instead, stop paying taxes. Stop working. Stop going to their fucking jobs. Stop using their fucking health care. Stop accepting their fucking money. If y'all gonna burn some shit, burn some shit that counts. Go burn the fucking White House. Go burn the Capitol building. Go burn the Federal Reserve. <laughs> burn shit that matters y'all burning fucking police stations in Minneapolis and 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 looting and uh and uh <laughs> looting and fucking um burning target and shit what type of dumb ass shit is that you look stupid you look dumb deaf blind and sheep just like all the rest of them so until y'all uh change your mindset this shit is gonna 
this shit is gonna continue. Um, this shit is gonna continue. They're gonna continue to kill y'all. They're gonna continue to uh, oppress y'all because you have not divorced the system. So yeah. Anyways, I love y'all. I know this is triggering, but it's the truth. We got to put our energy somewhere else. We got to get in our spiritual bag. And if y'all was really about the spirituality, witch life shit, y'all would have put the mother. Y'all would have been put the government in a fucking coffin. But y'all so fucking scary. Y'all so fucking scary. But anyways, y'all have a great day. Peace.